<laughs> How's this for a splash of color to start a video? A 1990 spread all over me from the bottom, yeah, to the top. I went shopping with my daughter the other day because I bought these shoes for myself. And then, uh, yeah, we seen this and my daughter's like, y yeah, get that. <laughs> I feel awesome. I love wearing stuff like this because it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's cool when people walk by, they're like, say what? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'm 44 and I'm still dressing like I'm, <laughs> like I'm in high school. I love it. It's who I am. My personality inside is, it's not plaid. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Okay, so I started today's video multiple times in a row and I found I kept going off on a tangent. It's like I have a point to get across in this video, but I don't know how to get the point across because my mind keeps jumping on so many different, I have so many different parts of me in here and some part of me wants to go off on a rant, some part of me wants to go off on a business spiel and then some part of me just wants to like motivate and <sighs> okay, I promise, I promise at some point in this video, this whole video will make sense. At least one time per week, I get an email from somebody saying, hey Chrome, can you tell me how I'm gonna earn money online when I start van life? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'm gonna earn a living or to be able to make enough money to buy food, groceries, and gas. So there's so many elements to this question that I need to answer, so stick with me here. I'm probably gonna be all over the place. First thing you need to think about is if you're planning on dropping your day job and becoming a full-blown digital nomad, that free bird that just lives in their van and cruises around the planet, please keep in mind that those people who are living full-time off of stuff they make on the internet, those people are called entrepreneurs. So if you are not an entrepreneur or have never had that entrepreneurial mindset, then you may not be the person that's gonna be able to earn a living on the internet because I'm trying to word this so it kind of fits in with everybody. Being a digital nomad means that you are offering a service, a product or something for people to consume, buy, purchase, whatever. So, and I've been a natural born entrepreneur since I've been a little kid. I used to sell sports cards at the flea market, baseball cards, hockey cards, and I was, a, I was a grinder, I was a driver. That, I went from one table to two tables to three tables to four tables. I was a grinding little kid that was making the adult ones that were selling cards going, how is this kid, how is this kid growing so fast? Because that's who I am as a person. I've always been that natural born self, I'm a leader. I've always done what I wanted and was so good at marketing me as a person. So, Digital nomads, ones that are fully functioning and running businesses out of their vans, they're entrepreneurs. They have that business mindset because anything that you're gonna do to earn money online is a 100% business, including my YouTube channel right here. This is a business. And those people who don't treat their YouTube channels or their little money streams they're making to support their van life, if they're not treating it as a business, it'll never be a business. So if those people just make stuff as a hobby, will always be a hobby. I've always treated my YouTube channel as a business. You put in 100% and one day you're gonna get that 100% back out of it and you're gonna have success at it. I've always treated my channel that way. But keep in mind that if you're not an entrepreneur, earning money while you travel is going to be a whole lot harder. That's where you need to stop thinking about online business. Okay, if you are an entrepreneur, grind at it, rock at it, because there's so many amazing ways to make money online, whether it be from YouTube content or doing social media for other companies, doing photography for corporates and products and Guys, so many ways. I don't, this video is not for you guys though, because those people already know what they're gonna do or already, already know ways to make money online. All you guys need to do now is start putting those thoughts into action. Because thoughts are just thoughts, thoughts get nothing done. So when this thought comes in, boom, straight to action, like right now. Because that's how good businesses run. That's how people that, take their business from here and put it up to next level is because the thought comes in, they're like, let's do it. 
Instead of going, thought comes in, like, whoa, well, um, hmm, uh, hmm. By the time they do that, somebody's already stepped the game up to there. So you gotta do that when the thought hits right now. The next element to this question. If you're just looking to earn money while living in the van, then you gotta think about what do you have to offer these towns that you're going to? What kind of, kind of experiences do you have that you can offer businesses or people or companies or just the towns in general? Maybe you've got crafts and stuff like that that you make that you can go to every flea market or open market that these towns have on the weekends and sell your stuff. That's freaking amazing. So if you're a construction worker, a waitress, a bartender, whatever it is, those are the kind of people that end up seeking out areas that have high demand for that stuff. So if you're a construction worker and you roll into a town like, look guys, I got three months, I'm willing to work my butt off for you guys for three months and then I'm back on the road traveling again. You find the right company or the right service that can put you in the right place. You can earn yourself a nice hefty chunk of change while living in your van and then unplug from the job and go travel for another three months. Or work six months, take six months of travel. <laughs> right? Come on, people dream about that stuff. People now work a whole year and get two weeks off. Two weeks! And chances are the first week out of, oops, that was the middle finger, my, my bad. <laughs> the first week out of the two weeks off, you're just trying to wind down from all the stress from your job, so technically you only got one week off. I know this video didn't help you with all these ideas and what you're gonna do to earn money because that's up to you to figure out. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to earn money. All I can tell you is that if you're looking for temporary income, roll into a town, go to a temporary business services place and say, hey look, I got a pair of high, uh, uh, high heels. <laughs> I got a pair of, I got a pair of <laughs> steel toe boots and a pair of work gloves. I'm ready to work. And they usually find somebody that day will phone in, say, hey, look, I need someone to do some landscaping. Boom, you're out doing some work. But there's lots of different things. And I'm not going to sit here and dive into all the different little things because if you can't figure out that yourself, then you have a deeper problem than trying to find ways to make money while you're on the road. So guys, look, find out what it is you have to offer the world and just go give it to it. So that's what I did. I earn 100% of my income on YouTube, all of it. So this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for everybody who supports me on Patreon. Guys, thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my freaking heart, every morning I wake up, it's... I'm so thankful that you guys have given me this opportunity and I'm so thankful that everybody on my YouTube channel watches my videos, hits the thumbs up, hits the thumbs down, or just interacts with my videos as long as you watch it to the end. Perfect. So <laughs> if you're thinking about doing YouTube as a full-time income while you're traveling, I suggest it to everybody for sure. I mean, producing content is a whole lot of fun and it's amazing. But keep in mind that I also grinded away for just about a year and didn't earn squat. I put in more hours than I did at my day job and didn't earn nothing for my time. Zero. But that's what you do for business. That's where I say this is a business. No matter what you're doing for internet income, it's a business and you need to treat it like that. You don't give up on business. You find that thing you're passionate for and you work for it. Trust me guys, if you put in your 100% to something, I don't care if it's doing something for you or if it's doing something for another company, if you're passionate about something, it's 100% or nothing. And I guarantee you guys, you put passion into that one thing 100% and you are gonna get something out of it. That one thing you've always seek, you're gonna get. And I did here on YouTube, I got that out of my YouTube channel because I put it all in here. I literally laid it all out for one thing because I wanted to make movies. I wanted to create videos. I wanted to put my voice out there and say something. So if you ever ask that question, I don't know how to make money online, what am I gonna do? Or I don't know how to make money while I'm traveling full time, what am I gonna do? I encourage you guys to start looking at van life from a different angle. Stop having that as your big picture because van life isn't all about dropping the nine to five and traveling full time. Sure, that's an eager thing to think about, but that's not what it has to be. Maybe 
if you're thinking those things, then your day job's at fault for causing the headache and the ruckus. Trust me guys, being there, done that, I know. But I encourage you to maybe just start thinking about keeping the nine to five job you're at now, moving into the van, saving a ton of money, cutting out your rent, ooh, it's still earning a full-time income. <laughs> You'd be sleeping on a bed of money. I encourage you guys to, to do that. Get your finances in order, clear out all of your debt while you still have stable income, and then think about what you're gonna do after that. And I think those thoughts would be a whole lot easier after you're already living in the van because you're one step closer to that picture you've drawn, you've, you've drawn in your head of what van life is for you. So start it, you know, take that first step and let everything else fall into place as it's meant to fall into place. It doesn't always have to be about that big picture that you've painted for yourself. So start looking at van life from different angles. I don't wanna see you guys get discouraged about making these great life changes in your life because you painted too big of a picture. I love it that people are eager. I love it that people think big because that's who I am. I'm an eager and a big thinker. I'm a massive thinker. I don't never been the guy that thought small but I've always been the risk taker as well. I've always been the guy that I'm like, okay, let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? I fail? No big deal. I'll get up, brush myself off and go back and get a job and get another apartment. But that's the difference between people who calculate things in their head and people like me who just jump. I'm a risk taker and sometimes in life it's kicked me in the ass a million times and not caused a whole lot of failure. But then there's times like this one here in my life where I took the leap and look at now, look at me now. I've earned a living making YouTube videos and that thought in the back of my mind about wanting to be a movie maker and to edit videos, I used to dream about it. Now it's happening. So be that risk taker in your life. Like I said in the video the other day, be the leader in your own life. Don't let anybody around you dictate what goes on in your world. You're your own boss. Take care of your life on your own. Lead yourself. And I know not everybody is built to be a leader. Not everybody is built to be that loud, obnoxious person like me. But that doesn't mean you can't lead yourself. Be in control of you. Make your own decisions. But be realistic about stuff. Stop painting too big of a picture that you end up not doing doing anything about it because that picture was way too ambitious because you said it all had to happen at once. It doesn't all have to happen at once. Take it one step at a time. If you're an entrepreneur, then push towards it. Push towards working on the internet. If you're not an entrepreneur, then find out what services you have to offer the places that you go and just go get some temporary work got to realize if you're the person who's just in this lifestyle for the adventure side and don't care about what you do for money then yeah pff, you wash dishes for a couple of weeks and bounce off to the next town whatever it takes me I'm a little bit different I, I have a really big creative side of me that needs to be expressed and that's where me creating YouTube videos comes in but not everybody's like me not everybody's like you all right Cruz is inside the van. We better say hi to Cruz before we let you guys go in this video. Sorry if this one's a little long, but if you did make it this far in the video, which means, well, you obviously like me for some weird reason, <laughs> um, it'd be, I'd be honored if you guys would come over and um, visit me and Cruz on Patreon. Um, I post content on there every single day. They know where I am, what I'm doing at all times. And uh, for a buck a month, you'll get some behind the scenes stuff and it helps support the channel. So if that's something for you, I would love to see you there. So let's go get Cruz. Oh my boy, you're so warm. <laughs> He's so warm. Oh, you're so good to... If you guys ever have a little puppy when it's like super warm from sleeping and you just want to go cuddle with them, <laughs> oh, Cruz is so toasty. <laughs> he was lying down in the front seat and the sun was on him and passed out. <laughs> we spent the day with my daughter yesterday, so he got tons and tons and tons of love and exercise. He's a sleepy little boy today. All right, everyone. See you later. Say bye. Tell everybody to hit these buttons over here. The one over there says subscribe, the other one says Patreon, 
Okay. There you go. 